Christy here, back again with another Project Life Process video. This one is for June 15th through to the 21st. And I am using cards from Allie Edwards Stories by the Month kit. I believe this one was July, just based on the colors there. I'm also bringing in some chipboard from July and chipboard from June. And some tiny word stickers that I don't end up using and I'm also going to use uh, Maggie Holmes sticker book her first one for this layout as well so I'm just diving right into the left hand side of the layout I'm getting really excited nearing finishing completing the first half of 2020 it always feels good when these things are done so I'm just a few layouts away from completing it. In this layout I also had two inserts. I had two 4x6 um, portrait style photos that I adhered back to back and just used a 6x8 page protector fused down to hold those. And then I also, um, this week I kind of went around and visited all my students. So that's what the photos are of. And then I gifted them with a little yearbook. So I have copies of the yearbook as well. And the color of the yearbook is yellow, so it really tied in nicely to this layout. Uh, I love the florals on these cards, um, and I just kept it really simple and stuck with the Stories by the Month kit for this layout. You'll see that I am pulling out some labels from my stash. I really do need to cut more labels. I know it doesn't really seem like it since I have so many, but uh, most of the ones I have left just don't, I don't know, the colors aren't right or I don't, I just don't reach for them. But in this little uh, layout, I grabbed some pink, yellow, and kind of a teal, turquoisey color just based on the title card there. So I added some chipboard. The one says, so darn fun, and that's on a photo of Nora and her little friend up in a tree. And then I also added a pink one that says life right now, and that's with uh, Nora with her friend, uh, and there's a deer in the back. We went to a bird sanctuary, and there was a deer there. So I, I love that photo. It's just so cute. So I end up doing a switcheroo there with those two 4x6 photos, just thinking about the label placement and the um, embellishments and just kind of the balance of things. I decided to switch those two photos around. So I'm adding the labels. The title card had a spot that said date. I decided to cover that up since I do, I don't say, I don't do my title card saying week and the number, I use the date, so I didn't really need a second spot for the date. So I just covered that up with a label. I don't know quite what I'm doing with it at this point, but uh, I'll figure it out. And um, yeah, I'm just flipping through the, the sticker book. I decided to reach for the first one. I just felt like I had been using her newest one a lot lately, so I, I like to use all my things. So. Actually, I'm going to, I think I'm going to use both in this one. So this is the newest one and I'm going to use the hearts. And then the, I'm going to use some script font, uh, black script font for, uh, from the other one. So I'm just grabbing some hearts, just picking ones that match. I pick a pink one and a dark blue one just to kind of match the color that's on the card next to it. I love this font that she's been using lately in her cards. And I thought the card paired really nicely with our photos there from the bird sanctuary. Uh, the other photos there, I have a picture of a troll. Uh, like... A retro troll the original uh, my friend Michelle gifted me with this one that's like a little teacher and I just thought it was perfect I love I love it so much it's I just I just it brings back so many memories from my childhood I had so many trolls and so that she gave it to me was really special 
her mom had given her all her trolls from childhood and she gave me this one so pretty special and then the bottom left hand corner I have a picture of my trunk I went to visit all my students and uh, gifted them with some stuff so uh, there's some photo props and little gift bags there and I just really wanted to document that um, weird weird end to the year there so I decided to use these vellum stickers from Amy Tangerine. These sticker books are super old, probably four or five years old. And I picked the kind of bluish and the gray just to match the colors in the spread. I did, I would have normally done all blue, but I didn't have the numbers that I needed. And I liked how the date sat above the florals. I played around with adding some things to the top of the card, but I just didn't really know what to add. A little bit later on, I'm going to add a border around there and just call it good. It, it kind of allows your eye to rest a little bit, and so I'm going to leave it white. Um, I also added that black script for word that says happiness, and I'm going to add a second word to this photo of Adeline holding a worm and it just says today um, it's just floating right in the middle of the photo there kind of off to the side and I just didn't want to take too much away from the photo but I did want to get that other pop of black so that is the left hand side I'll come back and do the journaling a little bit later but this is the right hand side the kit this month came with two floral cards both with a spot with the date I knew I wanted the floral but obviously didn't want the date repeated so I took another card from the kit and trimmed it just to act as a little border at the bottom to cover that date spot and I like how it brings in another pop of yellow and does the trick uh, in tying the two spreads together. Lots of photos on this side. I'm going to have two flip pockets, one three by four and one four by six. So um, lots of photos from a trip that we took to my in-laws to celebrate Father's Day and also um, the girls' birthdays. Uh, Adeline's birthday was the following week after this and then Nora's birthday is in July but just because we knew we were going to see all the family we decided to celebrate both together also my nephew's birthday is next week as well or the following week after this one as well and then Aaron's aunt's birthday also falls in June so we did a lot of celebrating and a lot of photos for Father's Day. Since all the dads were there with their kids, we did some photos of that as well. Now, I am, once I adhere all these extra photos, so I put them into their little flip pockets. And I'm also adding a tab to this photo. I have two photos there back to back. So I just add the tab so it's obvious that you pull that out. Um, after I have those things in and tabs all attached, I like to do those as I'm doing the layout so that my colors coordinate. I just went into my paper stash and picked out a stripey one that had similar colors and I just really like it. I think that one was from Dear Lizzie. But loving the font, loving that currently card with all the colors. If you've watched my channel for a while now, you'll know that I do not shy away from colors whatsoever. I love to pick one card to, that kind of inspires the colors for the spread. Sometimes it's based off of the colors in the photos, but more often than not, more often than not, I let the product kind of dictate. Um, I do have lots of colors in my photos, so I just feel like it always kind of works anyway. Um, it makes it a little bit more interesting to the eye so after I add those tabs in there I'm going to go through the chipboard again and I um, apologize that the bottom part of my spread there isn't really visible but this large chipboard piece that's kind of off-white says outside adventures making it happen and giving thanks for the experience and I'm adding that one at the bottom on a picture of the kids on a slip and slide 
And then I add in a few more circle embellishments that came from the June Story by the Month kit. That one that says Friends and Family. Uh, because my girls absolutely love their, their cousins, so I thought that was appropriate. I'm adding labels now, so I'm just adding pink and blue to this side, mostly because I didn't have another yellow one, but I really like that pink one on that card. It kind of just makes it complete somehow. It brings in all the colors, and I picked the lovely sticker for that pop of black, and I like how the word isn't on the same plane of the eye, I guess, as the currently. I like when it's kind of staggered. I'm also going to add a label and the word dreams to this card of my husband, or my this photo, sorry, of my husband and his siblings and his dad. Um, not so often that we all get together and there's opportunity for a picture, so made it happen. I think being all at home has really made us appreciate this time that we have with our family, and it's really made me want to document things even more, because who knows when uh, we'll be able to capture all of us all together again. So, all right, putting things into pockets, I am just playing around with these flip pockets a little bit. They were a little bit wonky, so added it again. I will leave a link for the flip pockets in the description below. You can make your own with washi tape. I just really like that the cards and photos are in the plastic and protected, so I always reach for those. I've used so many, I need to get more. <laughs> but now I'm just looking at things side by side and deciding that we need another label. So because on the left-hand side I had lots of labels with embellishments but still had room for journaling, whereas on this side of the layout I used the, the labels as kind of a resting spot for the script words. So I wanted to do some journaling on a label. And I'm going to bring another chipboard and another sticker from the sticker book to embellish that label. I think I've spoken about all the photos. It was a really busy week. Lots going on, lots of emotions, especially seeing my students again. Hadn't seen them at this point for almost, th well, over three months in person. Uh, it was a really interesting experience uh, visiting them at their homes. Um, I have never done that before, so it was really cool to see where they live and uh, kind of what they've been up to and taking some photos with them and that sort of thing. It was really kind of the highlight of the year for sure. So just finishing up my journaling, and I love the colors in this layout. I'm just going to give you a really quick peek. I love the pop of black. I'm still not sold on that empty white space there at the top of the title card, but if you have any ideas for what I can put up there, let me know. Maybe some washi or some stitching or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave it. I don't know. But I just love the florals. I wish there were more of those. And I love the font that she's using. So lots and lots of flipping and pulling out on this layout. <laughs> Hope it inspired you to do some creating and take more photos of your family. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.